Lazy. I'm busy. Busy doing nothing. Watching TikTok. Hello everyone. This is MTV and welcome to my crib. Epic. I'm showing you this because I've spent all the morning tidying up here because it was an absolute dump. There was rubbish everywhere but I've got rid of most of it. And look how much room there is. I want to live up here in the summer. In fact, I'm not saying that because the landlord might watch. <laughs> Bear with while I get back to our... Uh. You're on. Come on, it's literally six foot. Hurry up! I am absolutely terrified of heights. I really, really do not like heights. I don't mind it when I'm up there because it feels secure. It's like ladders and stuff. Oh, they're very good firemen, was I? Back to the important stuff. Right, this is the third video that we're going to be doing on this. And this is day eight since it got dropped off. It got dropped off last Saturday. Today is the Monday after. And this car needs to be done by this Friday. Now it's quite late on a Monday. It's about, it's about five o'clock now, probably getting on that way. Um, we got here very early, but we've been tidying up because this place was an absolute shit hole. We're doing Range Rover and we've just booked in another job. So, yeah, it's a bit late on, but fear not, we're going to be here all night. So I'm at my other job tomorrow night and Wednesday night, so I've only got today and Thursday, Friday, really, to get the car done, which is stressing me out just thinking about it. How big on the list? all of this but we have actually ticked one off haven't we because you have tinted the front lights which is very kind of you thank you very much no worries um, we've still got the rear quarter to do the bumpers and the bonnet on the bodywork and then after that it's the little front little like fiddly bits like just fitting everything back on swapping the wheels over wrapping these gloss black painting blah 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 so today i don't sound very enthusiastic do i no. No. It's because I'm tired. But yeah, today we're going to finish these last few little big wrapping bits off. I'm hoping by the end of tonight I'm going to have that rear quarter and this front bumper done because this front bumper is going to need quite a bit of time on it because A, it is a bit scuffed. So I need to make sure that I'm going to get it looking as nice as possible. And B, um, I've knifeless taped all this because the inlays of these is actually going to go gloss black to break it up a little bit, which is gonna obviously make it a little bit longer to do, but let's go. Keep moaning that <laughs> I've not been filming enough, so Luke's caught with an idea of getting a chess piece GoPro, and now I feel like I'm... Well, we've had it for ages, just never use it, so it might well, as well. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting ready to do like a stunt or something, like I'm in the new James Bond film. I'm doing is trying to wrap the rear quarter of a car. That feel alright? Now I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Yeah, it feels secure. Or I'm like going on Go Ape or something. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Oh. With this? Oh, is that a head cam? Yeah. Oh, I should have had the head cam. Or you put that on instead if you want. Right. <laughs> Do we have the head cam or the Cheb cam? Well, wherever you look, that will show, so maybe head. Can I keep right. this on now? I feel... No, you're not keeping that on. I feel like I'm in a race car. Head cam it is, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I like a moron. Make sure that door's locked. I'm not having anyone walk in and me greet them like, Hello! This is official M-Dog cam. You can live your... Oh, my God, that's tight. Is that a bit tight? No, that's good. This is officially... M Diggy Dog camera, you can now live your life. If you want me to wear one of these every day, you can That's come to work POV with me. me. You can be a waitress with me if you want. POV, your M Diggy Dog. Right, let's wrap this then, shall we?
luckily the off court from the f up can do that door, so it's not a major f up. But now I need to remeasure this panel. To be fair, this is the first panel I have actually f up in it. Yeah, just when you'd be filming. Yeah, it's just as I actually. The pressure, it's the pressure. I that's know, yes, yeah, because I know it. I've got however many people watching. Right, we go again, everyone. but this side is done. So we've officially got all the doors done, top and bottom, all of this red quarter and the trim around the top. I've really put the trim on the bottom, ready for the bumper to go back on. Now I'm gonna start doing the bumpers. But there's something that's made me feel very ill. In the process, this from here all the way, so basically nearly the full length from the door to the end of the car, is how much wrap I need just to do one bumper. Like that's eye watering, that is a lot of wrap, which is equally a lot of money. Um, but luckily these bumpers aren't that big, but like they're quite thin. So one length of that will do both the front and rear bumper. So I need to use half of the width. Is that correct, width? Yeah. yeah. You're looking very toasty, I wonder why. Look, I'm warming my glove up, ready for some hard-earned craft. <laughs> Jesus, and we thought the roof piece was big. This is actually a bigger piece than what we needed to do the whole roof, just to do that. That is ridiculous, but this is uh, a clear indication of why wraps are so expensive. This is how much material just for one fucking bumper. This, but the good news is, I think there is enough on that roll um, to do the bonnet, which is good news. On TikTok again. Ah! Uh, Speak to the people. No. Oh God. Right. He's gonna say you did it all. He's a liar. You did a tiny piece, but I did half. You did half. So I always like to do this to bumpers because a it breaks the colour up, b adds a little bit more depth, dimension, and it makes it look a little bit more interesting. So. Yeah, so all these inlays, inlays, inlays are going gloss black and then obviously the rest is going to go turquoise. Now! Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh. Bumper! Finito! I'm hoping that all this GoPro footage is actually working because I've been pretty much relying on it tonight. But, let's see what the new face is. Oh, there it is. If you're wondering what's happened to the headlights, by the way, they've been tinted. 
Um, and you had a leaf stuck in one side. Oh yeah, there was a leaf stuck in one side. So absolutely no clue how that happened. Let's have a look. Oh gosh. Damn. Whoa, that looks cool. These final bits like doing the bumpers and stuff is really what's going to tie this all in now and it's really going to start making big differences. I know pretty much we've done the whole car but like just that bumper being the same colour is like, whoa, oh my god. Then in the last video, um, I don't know if you noticed, Colin was chopping here and basically because this bumper is off of an 850, it's not off of a 940. I went for this bumper because it's a bit more beefy and it made the front look a bit cooler. If we had it lined up perfectly where the bumper was naturally, it would have stuck out a bit at the front and looked a bit stupid. So what we've actually done is we've actually bought it back and then there's a bit of an overhang, so that's why that's been chopped. But when that's, it's not sat properly at the minute because we've literally just hooked it on. But when that's like on properly, that line follows perfectly. These, you wrap these. I you? did, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Credit where credit's due and all that jazz. Oh yeah, grilled as well. <coughs> Let's get a little boy in. It's still not got the uh, Volvo bits in it. Damn, baby! Uh, that top bit of black, by the way, is going to get painted. I like the lines on your head. Oh, is that from the GoPro? Right. Stay still. Zoom in on all my... <laughs> but the top bit is going to get painted. It's actually it's still got bird shit on it. Um, but... Yeah, that's gonna get like flattened off because there's a few scuffs in it and sanded black. The bumper, I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. Like, it was a bit of a dinger of a bumper. It's got like a few scuffs and a few scratches on it. So the wrap obviously emphasizes those imperfections. Um, but we literally have not got time to sit and sand down a bumper for the next two to three years. So it's a bumper, isn't it? Probably gonna get a little bit of a love tap at some point in its life anyway. Hopefully this one won't see the back of the beamer, so cut. So this is the end of today. We are going to continue tomorrow for a little bit. I'm actually at work tomorrow, but this is what the list is looking like now. And I quite like the fact that we've done the jobs evenly and left like even gaps. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? But yeah. this is what's left. So the bonnet, rear bumper, wrap the rear boot trim, sun strip, swap the other wheels on the other side, fit the new boot floor. But I've also remembered something else. We need to um, fit the rear spoiler. We need to fit the front bumper. Uh, I think that's pretty much it now, isn't it? That's it, it yeah. <coughs> and then uh, we need to finish. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, finish window trims because they need to finish going gloss black. Yeah. And? Oh, and paint front bumper. Oh yeah. Put that on there, because else I'll forget. Right, so that's the current list now. So we've wiped all the jobs off and ended up replacing them with other stuff. But um, we're going to be here tomorrow morning, afternoon-ish. Yeah, that's everything for today. See you tomorrow. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is. Um, we're back for another day of fun activities. I say another fun day of activities. We've only got a couple of hours because I'm working, which is very annoying, but got to pay my bills somehow. Today we're going to do the bonnet. I'm just going to do the bonnet, but you're actually here a whole day because I still haven't got my car. So I'm actually taking Lou's car to work and leaving him here all night. So <laughs> you've got you've got a few, few hours to get some stuff done. I'm going I'm just gonna leave you with the camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a put Lunoble a Lunoble takeover. Yeah. Just put a blonde wig on. All right. So give me your I'll give you some of my old extensions, um, and then you and Dave are probably gonna Sorry. take over the camera tonight and get some more stuff done. I don't know what's on your agenda, but I'll leave you to it. Um, but for now, we're gonna do the bonnet, and that means I'm gonna put my head cam back on, because after looking at the footage yesterday, well, some of it was a bit shit, I'm not gonna lie, like some of it we've had to delete, but we've mastered it now, we've cracked it on how we do it, so the head cam is back. So we're actually just sanding down this bonnet, because it was covered in all sorts of like, I don't know if you'll be able to see now, but you can kind of see under there, there's like all patches and it was like covered in like really stubborn dirt and like lacquer peel. So what we're doing is we're literally just gonna wet sand it so it's nice and smooth. 
so that none of that will show underneath the wrap and then we'll just jump straight in and wrap it but I thought I would never have to sand any more of this car oh how I was mistaken the bonnet just put the bumper back on and the grill back in but I've not actually looked at it properly I'm scared. this is only the first time I've seen the front end pretty much whole with the bonnet on right we'll flip round whoa yes oh my god that is sick Yeah. Right then, hello. This is the start of the Lou and Dave takeover. So it's just me here at the minute. I've just masked up this bumper. So this is the front bumper, and as you can see, this is all just grey. And Colin has gave us some special paint that basically just turns this from grey to gloss black to match these clips. So that'll clean up the front end. Start the front end. She's just sitting over there at the minute. So we've got a guy come in. Um, for a job, so when he's when his car's in, we'll push that one forward, and then when Dave gets here, we'll crack on. Say hello, Dave. Hey, <laughs> Dave's just putting the other wheels on this side. So we've got the 25 mil space on the front, and just one more to do now. And then that bumper's had another coat of black paint, so that's ready to go on. And Dave's got a good idea for that. So that will be going on next. Uh, headlights back together, side lights in, grilling. It's all going on tonight. Oh, 
so the bumper's bolted on. Lights have been resealed and put back in, side lights are in. We're just gonna get this perfect now and then tighten it up fully. Put the grill in and that's the front end done, isn't it? Yeah. Right then, so, m has got work again today, so I'm in charge of the camera. Got the GoPro on, you're probably like seven foot in the air right now watching. Today, by painting the rear bumper, uh, satin or gloss black, whatever we've got left. Because this is an old bumper and as you can see, that's all like scratched. This is, it's just a shit bumper to be honest. It was the original bumper and M is gonna be changing it for a 960 bumper when she can find one. We're just gonna spray this one black because it's not worth wasting like three meters of wrap on this shit bumper for it to look not that good and then come off after the show anyway. And then in the meantime, I've got to sort out all the boot, which I'll show you in a minute. That just needs fully gutting, cleaning, and then all the new clean stuff that we did up at Shine a few weeks back. All this nice boot floor is gonna be going in today. And just like that, the bumper is on and it's absolutely solid. Dave has put in some new washers and, well, I don't know what he's done, but it's worked, so <laughs> thanks Dave for that. Um, this side's got the original bracket, so there's just two bolts on the inside, just in there. And then this side was missing the bracket, so that's got a trusty zip tie, and that side is looking perfect as well. But yeah, for a few new bolts and washers, it looks pretty clean to me. And then, yeah, we're putting in the new floor. So there's the old one, if you haven't seen the other video. And there's the new one. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this. Ready? Mate. Look at the difference that has made. Just fresh carpets. Boot floor, done. There's not much to do now, just gotta finish the trims, wrap the rear boot trim, sun strip, that can be done last, wrap and fit the rear spoiler. Me and Dave have absolutely smashed this this week. To the year 3000, not much has changed but they... What do you think? Now that is awesome. Jeez, how is that the same boot? <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't mind sleeping in here now. Thought I was going to catch a disease the last time we went in here. I know. Cheers, Duck. No worries. Hey, dudes. What? Hey, dudes. M Diggy Dog's back on the cam. I'm back from doing some graft. But. Today, I've decided Sorry. the final day. After today, it's done. It's finished. Because we've been working that hard and like just that constant, like the hours that have gone into this is ridiculous. And the car's getting picked up on Saturday morning to go to Telford. So, we were gonna have a well-deserved day off tomorrow, which means we're gonna get everything done today. Now the list, isn't too big at the minute. There's literally just tiny little bits and bobs that need doing. But the, quite a big job was getting these side skirts fitted. Now, I haven't actually filmed up to yet, which is annoying, I know, but we've had one of those fucking mornings. Um, but we've actually got one on. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see. Let me roll that away. <laughs> we've kind of got one on, which almost fits perfectly. I say almost. There is a very, very small piece on the end where it doesn't quite fit. It's not quite long enough, which you can see, which is extremely frustrating. Um, but we've got a couple of options of whether we try and, you know, like extend that or whether we try and like cut that little end off there so it kind of doesn't look as harsh. Um, but for now, um, we're literally just going to keep it as it is because these aren't going on properly. This, these have literally just been double-sided, taped on. Putting this spoiler on. Um, 
Now, I don't know the official way that this spoiler attaches. There are little holes in it, but I don't really want to drill through the fresh wrap. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the really strong double-sided tape and then use stick it on like that because it, it overhangs, but that just lifts away with the boot. So if we it. tape all along there, I imagine that will be, be right. correct. Pass it here. Get off. My turn. Watch it be wonky then. <laughs> it won't be bloody wonky. Right, can you guide me? Because once this is stuck down, there ain't no going back. Yeah, so that's level now. On either side? Yeah. No, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, heck. Perfect. Ah, oh, these look so good with spoilers on. It makes them so much less boxy. And I know a Volvo is supposed to be boxy, but sometimes it can be a bit too boxy. That's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. Oh, look at that. That's such a nice, cute little blip. Thank you to Red Block Society for sending that out. Came from way overseas, this bad boy did. Another one off the list. Bye. So what's left? Sunstrip. Done. Done. Uh, Finished window trims, done. Done. Side skirts. Halfway. Halfway done. Paint, Paint still, still, done. done. <gasps> it's the final three jobs. Say two long weeks. It's not actually been two weeks, has it? It's been just under. But it's felt like the longest. It's been 12 days, isn't it? 12 days of 12 our days. life. Uh, we have literally been here 12 hour nights, 12 hour days, Any like day. till two o'clock in the morning, like ridiculously long hours. Oh, I just need to cut that off. And this is the final piece to go on the car, and then it is done and then it can go outside and I can show you. I feel proud and complete. Because this car turned up here looking like an absolute dog and it's leaving looking like one of the sickest Volvos I've ever seen in my life. Let's go! Jimmy at Woodstock